What's up YouTube? I'm Tsunami. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the new Pokemon gameplay tra gameplay <laughs> gameplay trailer. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome trainers. Thanks for joining us today for a preview oh, of the upcoming game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th exclusively All right, on the Nintendo go. Switch system. Today, I'm gonna be to listening to what he's saying. Look at some new gameplay. So let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region, in an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, Hisui yeah, we will saw that be already. the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Hisui region, surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. Each area is rich I'm really afraid that the environment will feel empty because it re it really does feel One empty when you watch the, the trailer and, and gameplay. But you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in I'm still really hyped it discover. looks and you should make sure to collect It looks different. It's pretty cool. As you explore. These materials can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey. And crafting items, though is viewers, being able to bombs, craft in Pokemon. I never thought that would be possible. But I guess it, there it is. Collect these materials too. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks. Picking up plants what? growing in the wild grass, defeating or touching Minecraft, or knocking items out of trees. Okay. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. I'm curious if they change the shiny hunting, like if it's all different. Kinds of Pokemon will appear depending mm. on the time of the day. I'm hoping so. Mission. Different species of Pokemon also have different If they had it a little Some thing to it. You as you approach, like this Badoof. Some species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away if they see you approach. <laughs> Look at them jumping. There are even aggressive Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. If an aggressive Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. That's really cool. This state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. In order cool. to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. Battle? You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing oh, one God. of partner Pokemon. Oh, God. Not this cinematics. Pokemon. Oh, well. It's fine. I thought they got rid of it completely. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing Psyduck? a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. Wait, but why isn't there like the... You see the Pokemon at the right? There is like this little mark for capturing, but why didn't Psyduck when have one? When aggressive wild Pokemon, you have to be careful. <laughs> These Pokemon will not think twice about attacking you. Oh god, the, anim the animation of losing black or blacking out is bad. Right. What is that? As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex, as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will hmm. also receive funds from the Professor, which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your Okay, but what's the use of crafting if you can't buy things? The vastness hmm. of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Can you craft Weirdly, other types of Pokeballs? Oh yeah, faster. you actually can. You can see the Ultra Hisui Ball there. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Allows you to soar through the skies. Hmm. 
Hmm. Basque Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these yeah, we saw that side, in others, other trailers. Your heart's content. Still pretty cool. I, I'm really mixed about this Jubilee feature. Village, the center of operations it's for the pretty Expedition much like an RS. Made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The galaxy team includes various Look, core, such as it, the it looks really cool, but it looks core. so empty. Like, look at how many houses there are. And I don't know. As it well feels really empty. Core, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request and preparing for your next excursion, Art style is you'll pretty set out from fine. the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. Map is really cool. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for your next hmm. task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home to a variety of different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the Trading Post, where you can trade Pokemon with other players. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it, I thought you could be able you would be able to trade with NPCs you can Pokemon. Of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of Hisu. Requests are small tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisu. I would have loved that they like I don't know if they will, but I would love that they add a, a mission some request, shiny hunting quests. Like it, they are arc they aren't is a they don't need to be easy. Mark locations on the map but I think it would be cool. Your current missions and requests. Yeah, okay, that's missions pretty RPG-ish. <laughs> Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. Okay. <clears throat> it could be a really repetitive idea though. We'll see, we'll see once the game comes out. But it it's a really repetitive idea. Okay. They haven't shown yet any like trainer to trainer battle so i'm curious of the reason why you would level up a team oh god not this animation oh no oh god You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. Okay. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokeballs, this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle. Hmm? Okay. So if he doesn't see you, you have an advantage. Battles are turn-based, and you can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Battles are turn based. <laughs> well, obviously. Or agile style. Using a move in the agile style raises the user's action speed, which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, prepare to oh attack God. multiple times in retaliation. Using it looks agile cool, style moves and strong style but moves awkward battle, at the same time, I feel like. Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. While surveying the wild, you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon, 
and are much okay. larger and have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. He's going to one-shot him almost. Here, the player uses oh, no. agile style I, I didn't see that he used only Thunder Wave. Delaying their turns and making them I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt would the one-shot him. Priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this Unless they switched up a lot of his... Catching yeah. Alpha Pokemon is a challenge. It's not, I don't, I, I'm not sure I'm, uh, I've been a fan of these new features that they added. Oh, wait. You one shot it is right shoe. Okay. Customization. <laughs> By visiting the clothing, oh, room, God. you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. I don't like the flat As cap. As you progress through the game, you will unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style that speaks. Oh wait, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers can wear. Okay, not that bad, I guess. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. Wait, can you do that with the boy too? The Isui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. Okay. It's pretty okay-ish. During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. Pretty sure these the will be like the Gigantamax. The frenzy, making them rampage. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. This new Pokemon really looks cool too. Defeating them in battle will not calm them. You will have to I don't know if he has a first evolution. Using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Just like throwing the Pokemon. <laughs> That's Dark Souls. Noble Pokemon mm. will attack the player directly. I guess. Too much damage. You will black out we'll see how it goes, but it again. seems like a kind Balance of your bombs with dodging attacks to calm mm, the meh Pokemon. feature. At some point during the fight, the noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. Strong style. Bubble. <laughs> One shot. Ooh. Can you capture him? Or you need to down him? We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Countless Wait, what? So you ba he battled him with a Pokemon and then went back to throwing him rocks. Okay. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye. Ah, this animation looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. The more the more we're close to the dev release, the more I I think I realize this game looks really empty. Uh no, not again. Oh god. I'm still hyped because it's Pokemon. I'm still afraid that it will be trash. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be playing the game uh and reviewing it. Woo! Look at the right, nothing, just houses and a tree. No decorations, no NPCs. Ah, oh, God. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>